Alright folks, today I'm gonna show you a German speciality. This is a special German cheeseburger, so stay tuned. It's time to grill. So we have a TV show in Germany that is called Sing My Song and there are several uh, singers and songwriters and they meet to sing a new interpretation of um, someone else's song. So this is the adaptation for the YouTube video grillers from Germany. So we decided to make a thing that's called Grill My Recipe. So um, each one has to grill a recipe from someone else. So today I'm grilling the now beware German version Odenwälder Kochkäse Burger mit Musik. So if I would have a word by word translation it's like a cooked cheese burger with onions and vinaigrette. So let's get started with the onions. Um, I will put the exact amount of ingredients into the video description. We already have missed the first step. We take 250 grams of uh, cottage cheese or I'm not sure about the vocab here uh, a cheese curd product in Germany we call this quark and we're gonna mix this with one teaspoon of baking soda and we're gonna put this in the fridge for two and a half hours so in the meantime the baking soda can react with the um, product from the cow <laughs> uh, we're gonna cut uh, the onions and next step is making a vinaigrette. So this is white wine, white wine vinegar and now you can use salt and pepper. I decided to take my salt and pepper mixture, jack and smoke, whiskey pepper meets smoked salt with red berries in it and now take a whisk and mix it and once the salt and pepper mixer mixture starts to dissolve at the olive oil. So if you want to have a good mixture of your vinegar, the white wine and the olive oil, that's the way to go here. So as I mentioned, there will be the exact amount for all the ingredients in the video description so you can um, easily make this burger at home. There will be also a link at the end of the video for Daniel's original video so you can check out the um, German version of that video I'm making a remake of right now. So this one already tastes good. Now take the sliced onions, put them into the vinaigrette, give it a good mix and let it chill in the fridge for an hour or so. So the next step for creating the cheese sauce is butter, that's half a package, 125 grams and one can of cream, heavy cream and put this, heat it up until the butter and the um, cream cheese uh, have been completely liquid and mixed. So this is a German cheese speciality. We call these uh, Harzer Roller or Handkäse. I'm not sure how to translate this, but this is just a special German cheese. So um, this is basically very aromatic and just uh, cut it into uh, bigger dices. So we're gonna put this later on together with the baking soda um, mixture into the butter and the heavy cream. So this one makes a great uh, cheese flavor inside this the cheese sauce. So if you are not able to get this cheese, just try out to take different kind of cheeses here. I think cheddar would work great as well. So this is 180 to 200 grams of ground beef. This is the basic for our beef patty. Um, of course, if we are talking about interpretation of someone other's recipe, um, I decided to take a salt pepper mixture uh, for the ground beef here. Daniel used a barbecue rub mixture, which of course works great as well. So give it a good mix. 
maybe add some more of that, mix it again. And then we have to form a single patty. And uh, yeah, this is one of my longer videos. I think it's uh, over eight um, minutes at the end. So I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. So here's the patty. Ta-da! In the meantime, I've preheated my Broil King Imperial Gas Grill for direct heat. And we're gonna grill this patty here on direct heat two or three minutes per side. So that's pretty easy. I've speed that up uh, as well. And after giving it a flip and another three minutes, we're gonna put this one um, on indirect heat for some more minutes. Make sure not to kill the beef twice. And in the meantime, this one rests on indirect heat. Start roasting your bun. So final step, that's the baking soda mixture. It started to react and that's exactly what we are looking for. This is the mixture of butter and cream. And all you have to do now is mix the cheese and the baking soda mixture and put it back and let it simmer until the cheese is completely melt and we have a nice looking cheese sauce. So this might take some 10 minutes or so. But once you're ready with um, letting that melt, we are able to build our burger. So there you go. That's the roasted bun. We're gonna add some mustard. I really like the combination of that kind of cheese with mustard. I would eat this some lettuce here. The patty and some of that great looking I wish, I hope, I wish you could smell that. This is so absolutely great. This sauce is so great. So it's a little bit liquid. So maybe it would be good, a good idea just to, um, I, I speed this up a little bit. It's not um, too liquid. But um, if uh, I would have waited some more temperature, it might be a little bit thicker. So there you go. The onions, some smoked ground paprika and the other part of the bun and we're ready for the Odenwälder Kochkäs burger. So, if you want more of that cheese sauce on your burger, here's my hack for that. Just put it in a bowl and take your burger and bam! Looks good or what? So, make sure to watch the original video from Daniel, Red Style Cooking. Uh, please hit that like button, subscribe to him and subscribe to O815 Barbecue if you haven't subscribed yet. Make sure to check out the, um, the hashtag for the German one to see all the other videos. Thanks for watching. I'm out. See you.